right, so I have an article that I want to cover uh, before we keep rolling along. And this article is, uh, it says, this is on chess. It says, tennis star Carlos Alcarez is using chess to up his game. Hashtag tweet of the day. Carlos Alcarez is currently making headlines for his fantastic performance in the Mutua Madrid 2022 tournament. Today, he won the finals against Alexander Zverev, 6-3, 6-1. Um, it's an event that, that has glued everyone to this everyone to their screens for every tennis fan. Alcaraz qualified for the final, defeating Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. He one more time asserted that chess is an essential part of his training. Interestingly, Djokovic is also known to play chess with his former coach and current prison inmate Boris Becker saying, the key to tennis success is chess. The first time Alcaraz commented in depth about the importance of chess for him was in an interview for Mark this March 7th before Indian Wells. So let's let's see what we have here. We have Carlos Alcaraz with this tweet says, um, let me scroll up so you guys can see the whole tweet. It says Carlos Alcaraz on chess. In chess, like tennis, you get lost for a moment and the game is already mixed up. In this aspect, they are they are two quite similar disciplines. For Alcaraz, chess is an essential part of his tennis practice. Very nice. And here's the interview with Carlos Alcaraz about chess by Marca on March 7th. One of the most unknown aspects um, that you is that you like to take a nap and play chess before games. Can you explain it to me? That's right. I was caught on camera at the next gen in Milan and in Rio. I, I also slept because rest is important and even more so in such an intense week in which it rained and the games were delayed. Recovery was key and naps before games are for me. And chess helps me because you are concentrated. Your head works. Very, very true. All right. It says, how does chess specifically help you to practice tennis? It helps me to be faster mentally, to watch plays, to see the move you want to make, the strategy, to be focused all the time. In chess, like tennis, you get lost for a moment and the game is already mixed up. In this aspect, they are two quite similar disciplines. All right, so again, there, there are more pictures here. Uh, but once again, it's just a short little article um, on, on tennis, so I thought I would cover it very briefly for you guys to see. Uh, it's about Carlos Alcaraz talking about chess. There are many tennis players actually who do play chess. Uh, I, th I think um, right off there's what? There's Djokovic, there's Alcaraz. Medvedev, I think, has talked quite a bit about chess, so it's three right there. Um, and so it's just a nice short little article that I wanted to cover. Of course, Boris Becker played chess. He made an opening move at the London Chess Classic some years back. Um, so he, he also played chess quite a bit. Anyway, you guys, let's move right along. That was our little little bit for the day. We're going to keep going on. We're going to go with our chessels now. So give me one second. All right, let's start with our standard opening. E4, not the French. Let's go E5, knight F3, knight C6, D4. Takes, takes, knight F6, knight C3, bishop B4. Very standard approach. Okay, so we get E4. Now, E5 is not the right first move, but knight C6 is the second move. There's no d4, and there's knight c3. There's no knight f6. So this means that by the process of elimination, it can't be a Karo Khan. It can't be a Pirk. It can't really be a Scandinavian. So it's not a d-pawn push. It's not e5. Uh, it can't really be a e-pawn. So it's not e or d. So it has to be a c-pawn, or it has to be like knight f6. I think it's a Sicilian, though. I think it's a Sicilian. I think it's knight c3, knight c6. Uh, could it be Le Grand Prix, or is it G3? Um, I think I get enough information. Oh, but there's no Knight F3, so maybe it's not the Grand Prix. No, because F4, G6, you would play Knight F3, so it can't be a Grand Prix. Um, so my assumption is that it's probably a closed... Uh, maybe it's like a closed... Um, maybe it's like a... Let's say, let's say, assume it's this. Oh, oh, man, am I good or what, you guys? Holy mackerel. Am I good at chess? Am I... Just be honest. Am I good at chess or what? Um, really, really good. Really, really good. Um, we get it. We get it in two. Uh, again, showing that we do understand the openings, and that's that. Next up, we have. Uh, we'll do our Wordle next. Let's do our Wordle. Let me minimize chat again, of course, and let's keep going. Uh, I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna do train as my first word. Uh, we get an A and an N. Thinking of group R for the 333 bits. A and an N, no TRA. So with an A and an N, I don't think I can really get it. So maybe I should just try to um, uh, use some use some letters. Think, think of Quetzalcoatl for 300 bits. I think I'm going to try to use a bunch of letters here. What's the five-letter word that uses vowels? O-U-P. Um, scoop? Maybe it's like scoop. Uh, or wait, no, that's not how you spell scoop. Uh, it could be like, um, I need to use O-U. O-U. Um, 
what's a word? Uh, maybe it's like, um, sued. Is that a word? Uh, that's not a word, is it? It could be a suede. Me, that's too. That's too many of the same. Um, sol solus solit. So solit. That's not a word, is it? Sol solu. Um, sol solad. Solar is not a word, of course. Um, what's a five-letter word that uses OU? Like maybe it could be um, um, uh, fluy, fluy, uh, scooey, OUY, OUY, OUY. Um, could be like a boo, boosy. Wow. Okay, so that's I use OU. I use all the vowels, and I only get a Y. So it's Y. Maybe it's A and Y, like maybe it's like um uh cranny, cranny, brainy, branny. Um A is wrong though, so it can't be A. So it has to be N Y though. Maybe it's like Alany. Um it's N Y it has to be N Y. Um N Y with an A. But A can't be the third. Um Aklini. Acne, um, that's, I already used an E or not. No, I didn't. Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word. That's not. That would be a great word to use, unfortunately. Um, uh, cleaves, clee, please. What ends with a Y? It's got to be N-Y. It's something like A, A, Alany, Alamo, Alany. Um, I think it's got to be E-N-Y. I think it has to be something like A, B, E, N, any, any, any. Um, be like Pliny, pl uh, pl pl uh, pl 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 Polny, is that a word? That's not a word, is it? Could it be Bal Balny is not a word either. Dalny, that's not a word. Um, what can this be? Could it be like N-A, Nagley? Nagley, is that a word? That's not a word, is it? Um, Gainy, is that a I think that's a word, right? But there's, it's not an I. Gapney, that's not a word either. either. Um, Capney is not a word, I'm sure. Um, la 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 la. Um, Lampy, maybe? That's a word, right? I use the A, Y. I don't use an N, but I think it's a good... No, that's not a word. Lampy's not a word? Oh, maybe campy's a word, actually. Let's, let's go with campy. Oh, okay, that's really useful. So C-A, and there's got to be a Y at the end. So it's something like... Um, okay, so that's C-A. We know Y, and then it's something like... Um, could it be like canny? Could it be a double N? Oh, candy, right? Candy. This must be right. Oh, uh, no. Okay, wait. So, is it canny? Uh, wait, if it's, yeah, this must, oh, it is canny. A very dirty, very dirty and tricky. Very dirty and tricky. I'll wait for chat to catch up, but, um, very tricky, very tricky. It could be canty. That would have been pretty funny if it, if it was canty. But anyway, we got the we, we get this right. It takes us five tries. Um, uh, anyway, let's move on. What do we have? We have our um, we have our Wordle. So let's go to our Wordle. Let me adjust the scene. Let me minimize chat. Now we had Cuba the other day, but this this is not Cuba, right? Um, so this is not Cuba. So let me th wait a second. This looks like North America. Actually, this does. This is North America. This has to be right. This can't be Africa. Asia, I mean, this everything is off to the east there. It's like Philippines and Indonesia and everything. This can't be there. I think this is North America. Um, this is something, this is something, this might be from Johnny Depp's land. I think this is something from the Caribbean. Um, this is something from the Caribbean, but I don't know which one it is right off. Uh, let's see. So what is in the Caribbean near Cuba? There is... There is, um, there's what? There's the Bahamas. 
There's Jamaica. There's Haiti. No, Haiti is different. I think Haiti, Dominican Republic is a different spot. Um, there's like Trinidad. Well, that's going Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I, I actually, you know what? I think this has to be something in North America. So what's a good guess? If I'm thinking about the regions of where they are, like there's stuff up here, which is the Bahamas. There's Jamaica down here. But if it's not, if I guess Bahamas and I'm wrong, that's, there's nothing off that way to the east. If I guess Jamaica and I'm wrong, it could be, could this be Central America? Like maybe this could be like Honduras or Belize as well. Maybe not Belize, but this could be something on the uh, northern edge of Central America. So I think I'm going to go with Jamaica as my guess. I think it's a fairly safe first guess. Because if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, it's Central America or it's the Bahamas, I think. So let's see. Um, oh, oh my gosh, I'm actually right. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's insane, actually. That's insane. No, I'm thinking um, it could be North. It could be it could be North America. It could be uh, not North America. There's nothing north, though, right? North America. Yeah, this is in the Caribbean, right? Isn't wait, isn't Jamaica in the northern hemisphere? Am I insane? Yeah, it is, though. OK, all right. There we go. Let's do our tradle then as well. Let's let's close this. Let's do our tradle. Um, what is this? Okay, this should be pretty easy. Two hundred thirty, two hundred forty-three billion dollars in exports, office machine parts. So, what countries can this even be? Like, this cannot be rushed. I mean, what countries even have two hundred forty-three billion in exports? There's probably this has to be a G seven country, right? So this is either the United States of America, uh, which it's not because the U.S. is obviously over a trillion. This has to be like China, which is over a trillion. So it's not the U.S. or China. It could be India, although I think India is bigger, but it's India, Germany, Canada. Those are probably the three biggest, right? Germany, India, Canada, Japan. Okay, it could be Japan. So it could be Japan, Canada, Germany. Um, what else can it really be? Now, the way that I'm going to approach this is that I'm going to approach this that it's not Canada. So if it's not Canada, what is the best guess that gets me close? It could be India, theoretically. Um... I actually do have no idea what India exports. So it could be India because of gold, I guess. Um, petroleum is so small, which means it's not Russia, obviously. Um, it could, it's not Brazil either. Brazil, I, is Brazil part of G7? I don't think it is. I'm going to go with India because I think it has to be something really massive. If India is over a trillion, so be it. It's not India. It's below. Wait, wait a second. It's below India, but it's 243. It's 1,000 below. So wait, India is at the bottom of Asia. Does that mean it's Australia? No, wait, wait, it can't be Australia. What? Wait, it can't be Australia. It's not. Of course, it's not Ceylon. Um, what? Wait a second. I'm, I must be losing my mind. What is below India? There's Africa, there's Asia. India's at the bottom there. What the heck? But this isn't Australia. I've already had Australia on this. It's 1,000 miles. I mean, is it Japan? Maybe it's Japan. I mean, is it Japan? I, I mean... What? What the heck? 243 billion? Wait, what the heck is going on? I must be stupid. It's... If it's... But it's not Australia. I've already had Australia on this, so I know it's not Australia. What the heck? Um... Huh? Huh? I'm really confused. If this is not India, it's, I mean, it's not Japan. What, 243 billion must be a G7. I'm really confused by this. 243 billion. So it has to be a massive country. I am so confused. It's not Australia, is it? It can't be Australia. So who, what, else, what other country can it be that's down? What the heck? 
office machine i mean like india's up there i mean i guess theoretically it could be like indonesia but indonesia there's no way it's indonesia i mean is indonesia really 243 billion i'm really confused i'm gonna go with indonesia because it's the only big country i can think of down there but it can't be i'm sure what the heck So, okay, so it's not Indonesia. So what country is it like Thailand, maybe? I mean, it's got to be like Thailand. That's the only, I guess it's Thailand. Uh, Thailand is 243 billion. Seriously? Seriously? That's, that's kind of insane, actually. That's actually insane. Thailand has 243 billion in exports. Jeez. That seems like a lot of money. Maybe I'm crazy, but... Hmm. Kind of crazy. Kind of insane, to put it mildly. 